this one for the low one. Just a Did you hear him? You could hear Bobby Bob Christine's husband singing on that, going, move it just a little bit. Oh, it's lovely to hear that again. <laughs> Such a gorgeous song. And if people want to hear it in a live form... Situation, well, I know just the time to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's the Mananin Festival uh, this coming week. It starts on Monday and there's something uh, something fabulous on every night that week. It starts with Rachel Hare and Ruth Keggin and it ends with myself and my friends. And <laughs> so Just having a bit of a party. Bookended, so um, uh, bookended by Manx artists. And the, I mean, it's a really rich, fabulous um, list of uh, wonderful things on this. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the list here now. And, uh, you know, there's um, like a, there's a play, there's musicians, there's a quartet. There's oh, the most fab- fabulous um, Geneva Canna Mason. She's just wonderful. She, where, where did she? She was the finalist in the BBC Young Musician of 2018. Wonderful. I mean, you know, brilliant really mix, isn't it? Really fabulous. varied mix. Yeah. And to start with Ruth and Rachel as well is yeah, wonderful gorgeous. because they've just made a new album yeah. as well, which is fantastic. It's actually sold out that night, I think, um, which is great. But do check Erin Art Centre for tickets. You can see Christine on Saturday evening. What can we expect from the gig then? Um, a lot of fun, I think. A lot yeah. of fun and. Um, yeah, good good vibes. We're aiming for good vibes. Yes, bring on the good vibes. <laughs> and it, good it kind vibes. of fits because this week as well has been Make Music Day, ah. the International Make Music Day. Right. Um, and of course, it's Glastonbury this weekend oh, as well. Right. So it's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. all about it's music all at the moment, yeah. which is fab. Have you ever played Glastonbury? Yes, I have several times. <gasps> and what's it like? Uh, muddy. <laughs> <laughs> I played it maybe three or four times. Uh, once with Richard Thompson way back in the eighties, and it was and it's the first time I was there, and he was on the main stage. Uh, one afternoon, one very wet, muddy afternoon. It's always wet and muddy, isn't and, it? And uh, I had bits of mud uh, in uh, on my guitar leads and whatever for years afterwards. Really? You, you found little flecks of mud because it just went everywhere. Glastonbury mud. Yes. It's yes. probably a bit Very magical. Special. It's probably Very a good special. thing to have on your guitar yeah. leads, I think. Yeah. yeah. And and that's the thing, the idea of actually performing at it. Some of us you know, know about going to festivals, but performing at them. Do you actually get to go and see any of the other acts? I no, I didn't. We didn't have enough time no. to you know, you're there, you get there with, you know, a certain amount of time to set up and, you know, get ready. Uh, you do your bit and then you wi- you're whisked. away. Yeah, you whisked off again. But some people do. Um, you know, they make a weekend of it and make sure they get to Go to lots of things, but at that particular time, no, we didn't. No. Oh, well, I love that you've played Glastonbury. That's oh, yeah. so cool. That's so cool. And also, we we alluded to this before. Yeah. You have been so incredibly productive recently with music. You've been writing and writing and writing with a real Manx theme to what you're doing. Yeah, um, I came up with this um, idea. I managed to get um, equal funding from the uh, Manx um, Arts Council and Culture Vannin. Um, and they're both, yeah, very, it's wonderful. I've never done anything like it before. Before, I, I, I had to come up with a theme, which is something I'm not very good at. But I came up with the theme of writing songs that are inspired by Manx folklore and a, and a sense of magical place. Because I, I do love the island and it is full of magic. Um, and so I started reading lots of the the folklore, the, the stories and what have you. And, and a few of them... Um, sparked my imagination now I'm not telling the stories necessarily I am inspired by them <laughs> <laughs> and then also it's not it's not folk music um it's whatever comes through me at the time and I I, I don't know what I imagined it would sound like to start with but I thought I'd write sketchy songs and then I get uh, a bunch of people in to record them but it turns out that I've just been playing with uh, the wonderful musical sounds in the logic um loops box on my computer and i've just had the most amazing time now i am a reluctant writer you know writing is not my forte it's not the thing that i uh, you know i love to sing singing is a, a a relatively easy thing for me and i love it um and writing has always been a bit of a, a struggle for me i you know I, i've struggled with the the art of writing <laughs> and and, uh, and here i am um and i wrote eight songs in about as many weeks uh recently I, wow. I need to write one more i think um so i'm and i'm really thrilled with the what uh, what has you know 
been and, created. Yeah, because yeah. to say you found your groove is something of an understatement <laughs> because when mm. she says she just sort of messes around with logic loops, we're going to hear that in just a moment, one of the songs. Um, and it's clearly sort of inspired th- this, you being so prolific in a way because yeah. to write a song a week is incredible in itself, but to then construct it, putting these songs together with all of the different instruments that you can possibly find. Yeah. I mean, there is there are orchestras on there. <laughs> know, this, uh, there are, talk about everything in the kitchen sink. Yeah. No, but I've really loved it. And I, I think, I mean, I obviously understand the structure of a song and, and, and telling a story. And, uh, and then, you know, you sew these bits of sounds together and hopefully they sound like a cohesive uh, creation. Um, I mean, it's work in progress. They're not finished yet. It's not mixed. It needs, you know, all sorts of little tweaks and what have you. So we're um, getting a proper sneak preview. You are getting a sneak preview. Yeah, this is definitely work in progress. But so do we know when this album may be out? Um, I'm hoping to have it finished before the end of the year. Um, but there's also the possibility, and I have yet to talk to some people about this, of perhaps turning it into a booklet and um, and have it, having some really uh, lovely artwork with it as well. But I don't know how practical that might be mm-hmm. but it would be a lovely thing to do it's, it, it makes it lends sense. itself to that yeah it really does well we're going to hear one now we're going to hear sound of infinity tell us a little bit about this one uh right okay well i was kind of um in a bit of a um a corner about a particular song and um i i but i, I put together this musical landscape that i really loved and i thought no that's never going to work for any of these songs and so i put aside the idea i originally had and i started looking through my notes of which i have loads <laughs> and uh, and I found this one little um, phrase and it said uh, the old when the old people of Dolby Mountain did did we even know we had a mountain in Dolby I didn't uh, when the old people of Dolby Mountain they used to go up to the mountain and put their ear to the earth and listen to the sounds of infinity and I just loved that phrase um, and then they said um, they had a belief that the space in the space, uh, the space is always filled with beings that we can't see. And um, I just yeah, I just love that idea. But the sound of it. So I, I've written a song called The Sound of Infinity. Um, and you're about to hear it. We are. We're going <laughs> to play it's it In incomplete state. But, you know, it's it's all right. It's just not. I'm just. It's not completely it's finished. Fabulous, Christy. Yeah. Well, listen. Remind us again before we hear it where people can actually see you performing live. Um, this Saturday, July the second, seven thirty at uh, Erin Art Centre as part of the Nan and Festival. In fact, we are closing the festival, so I'm incredibly honoured to be given such um, um, an esteemed position, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And the festival starts on Monday. Get yourselves yeah. down there.